everyone, welcome back to the Story Time Family. How are you today? I hope you're doing super well and got your super dose of sunshine outside today. You know, vitamin D is very, very special. It keeps you happy. That is true. Now, are you ready to read a book with us? Today, we have a book called Little Dragon and the New Baby by Deborah Cuneo. Let's check it out, shall we? The Little Dragon and the New Baby. Mom and Dad had a big surprise for Little Dragon. Surprise? Little dragons love surprises. Let me ask you, do you love surprises? Sometimes. Maybe having a new brother or sister wouldn't be so bad. But Little Dragon wasn't so sure about sharing his room. He was definitely not in the mood for company right now. Little Dragon felt like nothing could make this better. Then he had a great idea. <laughs> Mom didn't think his idea was all that great though. <sighs> She was right. Hmm. At least someone got to play with bubbles. Something was happening. Was it his fault? He hoped no one would notice. That's a huge crack. But it did. Two. Oh, they're so cute. They were kind of cute. Maybe things will be okay after all. Maybe. And that was Little Dragon and the new babies, more like, right? Did you like that story? That was really cute. If you've ever or is expecting a little sister or brother, maybe scary, but let me tell you what, they're really fun. Annoying sometimes, but more fun than annoying. If you enjoyed this book and would like a copy, the links to purchase it are in the description below. Give us a like and subscribe if you haven't. And leave us a comment. Tell us about your new sibling. We always love to hear from you. Till we see you again, you take care of yourself and your little brother or your big brother or big sister and little sister. And we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye. We have here The Lovely Haze of Baby Days by Lindsay Keller Madsen and me, Frey Dangard. Let's have a look. Babies, babies everywhere, on the floor and in my hair. Our rhythm beats the baby way, most every night blurs into day. Blowouts, burping, high-pitched squealing, diapers mounding to the ceiling, crawling, climbing, eating dirt, Loads to wash. What's one more shirt? Drooling, spit up, pureed fruit. But oh, my goodness, aren't you cute? Tummy time makes you so sad. And I need rest I haven't had. I might have maybe lost my mind. It's not an easy thing to find. 
I'm overwhelmed. My world's a mess. How does your smile erase my stress? Bottle, breast, or baby lid. All I care is that you're fed. The swaddle snug. White noise is on. You might just nap with one more song. Walking, rocky, midnight drives. I'm desperate to see drowsy eyes. Perhaps it's gas or maybe teething. Our four feet sleep to watch you breathing. The fridge is empty. Lunch looks bleak. I haven't showered yet this week. With yoga pants and dry shampoo, we're off to brave the shopping zoo. The house is so full of baby stuff, yet somehow there's not enough. The stroller won't fit through the gate. You woke at five. How are we late? Strangers acting nonchalant. They give advice I never want. So much mess, so many tears. The longest days, the shortest years. With sleepless nights and baby blues, thank goodness they are mamas too. If baby small or fully grown, in motherhood, you're not alone. I remember my baby days. Those days were really rough, but they all pass, and it makes it all worthwhile in the end, right, mamas? And that was the lovely haze of baby days. That brought back a lot of memories for me. If you like a copy of this book, the links are in the description below. Thank you so much for reading with us today. Give us a like and subscribe if you haven't, and leave us a comment. We love to hear from you. Till we see you again, you take care of yourself and your family. Bye bye.